You are an egg, a soft, translucent bead sealed in a fragile sack of silk. Your mother clutches the sack in her fangs, dangling upside down in a cellar corner. The web trembles with her constant shaking, her only defense. But the silk around you is no fortress. Ants can chew through it. Wasps can stab straight into the sack and suck out the liquid inside you. Other spiders can rip it apart. Even your siblings, once they grow strong enough, may turn against you. Already, you can sense death circling. Already, you know most of your siblings will not hatch. The sack jerks violently. Your mother trembles as a beetle crawls past. She shakes harder, blurring her body so the predator cannot lock onto her. It works this time. The beetle wanders off. But the message is clear. Safety is an illusion. You begin to twitch. Legs coil inside your egg. Your body pulses against the thin wall. You are minutes away from hatching. And then you split free. You are a spiderling, a pale, trembling, fragile thing. Your body is barely a speck. Your legs are absurdly long, thin threads that wobble as you dangle. Your skin is see-through. You can't hunt. You can barely walk. Your mother clutches you gently among your siblings. She feeds you scraps, gnats, tiny flies, caught in her tangled web. You press your fangs into their soft bodies and slurp the liquefied soup. You survive, but only barely. Your siblings shift and squirm. You are crowded. Hunger gnaw at all of you. One of your brothers lunges. He snaps at a sister's leg. She tumbles. The group swarms. Cannibalism erupts. One sibling is gone, drained dry. You do not mourn. You only tremble. Because next time, it could be you. You try to weave. Your silk is weak. Your web a messy tangle. Nothing like the perfect geometry of an orb weaver. Just a hammock of sticky threads. You dangle upside down. Clumsy. Waiting. Your legs shake. Not because you want them to, but because this is your only trick. Predators can't focus on a blur. You tremble violently, making yourself look ghost-like, everywhere and nowhere at once. It fools some. Not all. A wasp enters. Its wings buzz. Its stinger gleams. It swoops through your sibling's web, impales one, and drags the twitching body away. The silk shakes. Your mother trembles frantically. You freeze. The wasp does not see you. You live. For now. Hunger. The gnat scraps are gone. Your belly aches. A tiny cousin stumbles into your hammock. You pounce. Your jaws sink into his soft body. Venom, weak, but effective. You wait as his insides turn liquid. You drink him down. You eat your own kind. You survive another day. You are larger now. Your legs stretch longer than your body many times over. They snap easily, but they reach farther, sensing vibrations in your web. But you are still pathetic, still fragile. Your body could be crushed by a falling raindrop. Humans notice you now. They walk into the cellar, see your trembling shadow in the corner, and recoil with disgust. Daddy long legs, they cry. A broom sweeps your web. Your mother is gone, smashed against the wall. You shake harder. You hope they don't see you. You are alone. You dangle in a shadow, your messy web collecting dust. You catch a mosquito, pierce it with your fangs, and slurp it empty. You are alive but you are also hated, always hated. Another cellar spider wanders into your corner. You fight, you tangle legs, you both shake your webs violently, trying to confuse the other. But one of you must win. You lunge, you wrap silk around its body, your fangs pierce, you drink. Cannibalism saves you again. You are an adult. Your body is still small, fragile, translucent, your legs are absurdly long, so thin they bend with the faintest draft. You are not feared. You are mocked. Your venom is weak. Your fangs tiny. Your webs messy. You are more rumor than reality. Humans whisper lies. The deadliest spider in the world, but too weak to bite us. This is a lie. Your venom is weak. Your fangs are tiny. You are not deadly. You are pathetic. The rumor gives you a reputation for danger, but in truth you are fragile and powerless. Every predator is stronger than you. Wasps sting you and drag you alive into their burrows. Birds pluck you from your web. Lizards snap you up like a crumb. Even your own kind hunts you. You are food for everything bigger, which is almost everything. You search for a mate. Approach is dangerous. Males risk death with every step toward a female. She may accept him or she may eat him. You tremble, vibrating your legs, sending signals through her web. You creep closer. You risk everything. You succeed. For once, you are not eaten. 
you pass on your genes. But your young are doomed to the same cycle. Fragile eggs in a sack, raided by ants, pierced by wasps, crushed by humans. Your end comes. Sometimes it is the broom. A human spots you in the corner, trembling, harmless, but hated. They raise the broom. The bristles slam into your web. Your threads snap like brittle wire. Your legs shatter, snapping one by one with tiny pops. Your body bursts into a smear against the wall. You do not die with dignity. You die as filth to be wiped away. Sometimes it is your own kind. Another cellar spider invades your web. You thrash, you tremble, you blur. But it does not matter. Long legs entangle yours. The fight is over before it begins. Silk tightens around your body. Your fangs are pinned. Then another's pierce you. You feel your blood liquefy as it is sucked from you. You become food for the very cousin who shared your bloodline. Sometimes it is the wasp. You hear it before you see it. The buzz that rattles your trembling body. Then a flash of pain. The stinger pierces you, injecting venom that paralyzes but does not kill. You are alive, trapped in your body. You cannot move as you are dragged from your web, carried into a burrow. You are laid beside other corpses, other victims. The wasp lays eggs on your body. You are still alive when the larvae hatch. They burrow into you. They chew through your insides, eating you alive from the inside out. You feel every bite, but you cannot scream, cannot flee. You are a coffin. Sometimes it is starvation. The cellar grows cold, prey vanishes. Your web collects only dust and shadows. You weaken. Your legs tremble with hunger, not defense. Day stretch on. You shrink. Your body shrivels until one day you collapse in your own web. You hang there, a hollow husk, swaying in silence until a draft carries you to the floor. You die not with violence, but with emptiness. And sometimes, the cruelest death is not physical at all. It is reputation. You are remembered, not as a survivor, not as a creature of nature, but as a lie. Humans whisper, the deadliest spider in the world, but too weak to bite us. They repeat the myth with laughter. You are cursed with a false legacy, not respected, not feared, not admired. Only mocked, only despised. So why does it suck to be born as a daddy long leg cellar spider? Because no matter how you live, every ending is misery. Crushed by a broom, eaten by your own kin, paralyzed and hollowed out by wasp larvae, starved in silence, or remembered only as a joke, despised for eternity. You are false city, born fragile, living hated, dying forgotten. And every time someone walks into a basement and sees your trembling body in the corner, every time the broom comes down, every time the lie is whispered that you are the deadliest spider alive but too weak to bite us, they remember you, not with awe, not with pity, but with disgust.